teams looking to keep their state playoff run alive was the Emmaus Boys Volleyball Squad. They were in action in the 3A semifinals last night at Exeter High School in Reading, but they certainly had a tall task on their hand, taking on the top team in the state, Hempfield. Sean Fritz was there for all the action. The Green Hornets were looking to take the next step on Wednesday against the state's top-ranked team in Hempfield, the undefeated champion out of District 3. The winner would advance to the state championship on Saturday. We picked things up in the first set where the Black Knights got rolling early thanks to some big plays at the net from seniors Ian Flood and Gavin Hanselman who combined for 10 kills in the first set. Hempfield got out to a big lead in that opening set that they wouldn't look back from as they would cruise to a 1-0 match lead by a score of 25-16. In unfamiliar territory, Emmaus would have to bounce back in the second set but they would have to find a way to stop Flood first who had a game-high 15 kills. However, the Hornets would take advantage of some Hempfield miscues as the teams traded leads back and forth four times early on in the set. That was until the Black Knights went on the biggest run of the match, a 10 to nothing spurt that the Hornets had no answers for as Elliot De La Torre spikes it home to give Hempfield the 2 nothing lead by a score of 25-14. We would head into the third set where Emmaus would need some kind of miracle in what could be its final set of the season and they would get off to a good start as the Hornets' leader in kills on the night. Tom Mazzello was feeling it early on. He would total 10 kills for the match. Perhaps the most exciting play for Hornets fans to this point was the defensive effort from junior Steven Reynolds, who comes up with not one but two blocks on Flood to get the point, forcing Hempfield to take a timeout. Although out of that timeout, it was all Hempfield as Emmaus couldn't keep the brief stint of momentum, and with just one more point needed, it was De La Torre giving the Hornets a spike that was too much to handle as the Emmaus undefeated season comes to an end and the Hornets are bounced from the PIAA playoffs. Yeah, I'm proud of my guys this year. That we've had a great season. I was a little disappointed at the way this ended tonight. Uh, we're a much better team than what we showed. Uh, so, yeah, I, I kept giving them the message, just go out and play hard tonight. One of us is going to lose, and that's okay as long as you're giving it your best effort. Um, so I think we played a little tight, and then when we got behind, we started playing to not lose, and that's not a good recipe for winning. I really think we could have just stayed out of our heads and just played our game. After the first couple points when we were down, we uh, we were really trying to push back, but then eventually we kind of just weren't playing our game. We weren't we weren't staying focused, and we weren't staying up. Unfortunately, history repeating itself here on Wednesday night for the Green Hornets as they fall in the state semifinals for the second straight year. But from head coach Ken Dunkel, he's got nothing but high praise for his senior class. It's, yeah, it's been phenomenal, and they're going to be tough to replace. You know, Cameron, our setters, probably a top three in the state. So replacing him is going to be really tough next year. You know, we've got a freshman that we're training up, but you know he's not going to have the experience Cam has for a couple more years. James on the outside has been really big for us. Matt in the middle, and then Tom Mazzella was huge tonight. I'd have to look at the stats, but I think he he led our team in hitting by far. On the scene at Exeter Township High School, Sean Fritz, two sports. Obviously not the end that Emmaus's boys volleyball team was looking for, but it certainly doesn't take away from a phenomenal campaign yeah. for these young kids. They defeated Central last week and then knocked off Council Rock North on Saturday, the number one seed in yeah. District 1. A great run for these guys in the, in the end, one heck of a season. It's tough to get that close, though. Yeah. Hard to swallow, I know yeah. for sure. Before we move on, I want to correct.